You're listening to Instant Microwave Buzz. An improvised sketch comedy podcast recorded live in Maui, Hawaii. Aloha. To learn more about Instant Microwave Buzz, go to IMF Maui on Instagram. Support us on Patreon under Instant Microwave Buzz. And now on with the show. Well, hello once again. I'm your host, Bob Moyerton, and this is a funny little way of thinking about it. Part of the Moyerton Family News Hour. Well, last week, we interviewed the man and woman on the street what they thought about capital punishment. But after a huge letter writing campaign from what seemed to be from one prison right here in the county, we were more inclined to find out what your average man or woman behind bars thinks about capital punishment. And I'm willing to bet they'll have their own funny little way of thinking about it. So we started today's interview behind bars. Okay, let him in. Hello, how are you? Oh, I'm just fine. How are you? I'm great. Have a seat. Uh, My my name is Bob Moyerton. You may recognize me from not only the original Moyerton Family News Hour, but also from my new show, A Funny Little Way of Thinking About It. Moyerton? That's me. What kind of last name is that? Uh, it's a mixture. It's Danish and Jewish. Mmm. Well, uh, guard, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. It's all right. Here, don't worry about it. I'm more <laughs> whichever one you like. So have a seat. All right. We wanted to ask you a couple of questions about what do you think about capital punishment? I'm for it. You're for it. Damn right. All right. For me, you do the crime, you got to do the time. Now, you are yourself a death row inmate, is that correct? That is true. And you feel that you deserve your fate? If you do the crime, you pay the time. Did I kill a bunch of people? Of course. I want people, but I killed a bunch of people. And guess what? Apparently, in this state, death penalty, I got to do the time, I do do the crime. (laughs) Well, that's a funny little way of thinking about it. I'm firm about that. All the politicians I've ever voted for, death penalty. And unfortunately, I got caught. So death penalty, I'm okay with that. It's just the only way that this industrial prison complex is even going to work. So you're a a victim of the system. Another bad day for the white man, I guess. Now, uh, I noticed that you're you're not white. Uh, Why do you keep saying that? Are you trying to fit in here in the prison? Don't tell any one of them. All right. Do you know what they'll do to me in here if I if I am a flip flopper? Settle down, settle down. It's okay. We're gonna move on to the next prisoner guard. I'm Aboriginal originally. Uh, Mister Marty, just right this way to the next uh, the next prisoner. Down. All right. We made our way over to the women's wing. Hello. Come on, bring her in. All right, hello. How are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you doing? Um, they told me that you'd give me some uh, some smokes and some Cheetos for doing this whole little production thing. Well, hold on, because this is for television, but we also might come back from a commercial, or we might cut it up into clips you and put a, it on the Internet. So. You got a problem with me doing uh, smoking them cigarettes when I'm uh, eating half a month pregnant? Hold on. First things first. I got to take care of something. Hold on one second. And we're back. I'm Bob Moyerton of the Moyerton News Hour. And I'm Sandra Monchego okay. of the Women's Correctional uh, Facility, incarcerated uh, for murdering 
Sandra, hold on. Just give me a second. I'm going to bring you in, okay? You don't bring you in, all right? This it's... week on things we can make in a toilet. Sandra? What? You got you to gotta give me a second. I'm almost certain they told me you needed a host, a co-host for this. Nobody told you that. Next week, running kites. Blair is it as bad as they say it is? Wait, 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 30 seconds. There's not going to be a next week. If you don't play ball, do you understand that? I yeah. need, if I, you want me to come back and interview you another time for another thing? There's no next week for Sarah. She is on death row and that is me. All right. Hold on one second, please. All right. Here we go. 15 seconds. All I feel right. like I'm in the hot seat already. Listen. Get it? Okay. Like the electric chair. You're kind of lippy here. I wish you were like that psycho in the men's prison. I'm a personality hire. All right. Hold on a second, Sandra. t-shirt. Sandra, Sarah. We got the commercials up. All right. And hello once again. I am Bob Moyerton. And I am Sarah Manchego of the Women's Correctional Facility. It's okay. We'll just cut there. And I am here at the correctional facility right here in our county, Moyerton's Correctional Facility. And I am here with Bob Moyerton interviewing him about what he thinks about the correctional are we a you need to watch your mouth first up secondly we're gonna cut there anyway this is what they say about censored media let me get a word in edgewise okay here we go and we are here trying to find out what the inmates think of capital punishment i'd like you to meet someone who calls herself sarah she also calls herself sandra she also talks incessantly underneath me what do you think about capital punishment? I have to say I am against it personally. I don't think I deserve to die. But more importantly, I feel like uh, since I am eight and a half months pregnant, I would also like an abortion. An abortion? Yes. And Wow. Okay, this is sort of the trolley car problem here, isn't it? Are we against murder of what kind exactly? Okay, so let me get this straight. We want to have an abortion so that we don't kill the baby during the execution. Is that correct? Exactly. All right, okay. You want to ask me why I'm eight and a half months pregnant and I've been in prison for two years? Why are you eight and a half months pregnant? You've been in here in prison for two years, Sandra. It was more Sarah. of a rhetorical question. All right. Not I, uh, very helpful. I'm, uh, I'm a bit promiscuous, as they say. Okay. Even though I don't got all my teeth no more. Understand, this is going to be on a family news hour, so I'm cutting maybe three-eighths to a seven-eighths of this what you're is, saying. This here. is a good lesson for the little kitties at home. Little kitties, go to school. Don't fall in love with a boy named Cut Knife. See, you started so strong. You were you said things like, uh, you know, you're for it, you're against it, you had an opinion, everything like that. You talk a lot, though. You understand? I can't have a co-host. What do you mean I talk a lot? There's no way you're getting the co-host job. That's all I'm saying. And they said I was a shoe in even though I'm wearing slippers. Nobody told you that. They told me. Nobody told you The same you that. people that told me to ride with cut knife told me that I'd be a shoe in for this. I don't know how you keep sucking me back into this argument. I'm calling the guard. It's our fun little will they won't they. We got a good thing going here, Bob. We won't. My phone is ringing. Guard. Yep. Hello. Hello. Oh, Sandra, you've been, that, you've been all over this man again? Is that your phone? Oh, look at that. I got the guard's gun. Are you keistering a cell phone up in there? I'll get the glove. She's got a gun. Oh, no, not the glove. See you next week. Hey, this is my corner. I'm going to sell more papers than you. Get out of here. It was my corner yesterday. Get out of here. You guys think you could sell more papers than me today? 
I, I promise I can sell more papers than you. I haven't eaten in four days. I'm going to sell the most out of all of you. Oh, who's the new kids? Uh, I just here. I just need to sell more paper. I was told just show up here, sell more papers than everybody here. Listen here, kid. You can't just go on reading all the lines that are in the papers out loud all day. You got to sell to these guys. What are you talking about? Rick Tick Ticky. That's right. You got to make it you gotta up gotta on like, the spot. Wait. Make, make stuff up? You guys can read? No, no. That's <laughs> not the point. I've been making this up the whole time. You don't have to read. That's the point. It's about the sizzle, not the steak. These idiot adults are going to buy any of these newspapers, no matter what we say. Okay. But you got to jazz it up. Understand? Here, follow our lead. Look, we make up random stuff and they eat it up. Extra, extra, a dog with three legs becomes president. What do you say? Let me buy it. See, they're, 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 they can't keep their hands off them. Now you try. That's how you do it. Go go on. Go on, okay. Scamp. Ex- you can do it. Extra, extra. Man becomes woman right in plain sight. Whoa, that's crazy. No man could ever I, become a woman. You said to just sizzle it up. Good heavens, I'll take a paper. Right here. How many do you need? All right. You take that corner over there. I'm going to take this corner over here. You two split up. Hey, that was pretty good, kid. Thanks. You did a good job. Well, so is it like one to nothing now? Like I... Yeah, let me let me sell right. some sizzle. Here, hold on. Go for it. x x King of Prussia makes love to Roosevelt on alien spacecraft underwater. I did, boy. I'll take two. There you go. See, I'm ahead now. Extra, extra, Cthulhu Squid Monster takes a flight from the sea and is headed directly to New York City, the Big Apple. Oh my, that sounds serious. I'll take one. Take two. Wait, what is that word you said? Flight? What is that? Extra, extra, greenhouse gases destroying the ozone layer. Oh, that sounds dangerous. I love to I, let me get one of those paper. They do. Yeah, thank you. Extra, extra, Babe Ruth eats sixty baby roots while he's going up for batty bat time. <laughs> I think he gets a home run too, guys. What do you think of that one? I don't think anybody knows what that means. That was childish gibberish or something. I don't know. Here, watch me. I got one. X3, X3, new X-ray specs diagnose colon cancer from across Yankee Stadium. I'll take one. Good God. Extra, extra. Get yourself a paper filled with the latest and greatest hobby enthusiasm. Uh. Extra, extra. We landed on the moon. What? Good heavens, that sounds made up. I don't believe it for a second. I'll take ten. What Thank a you. lying little street urchin. <laughs> extra, extra. Nosy child hasn't eaten in six days and is starving and the family's dead. I don't want one. Shut up, you little dr- brat. I won't take any kind of paper like that. Are you begging me for something? It's the headline. Extra, extra. Oil cut, cut. Tycoon takes uh, all the kids and throws them into the water. I'll take one. X3, X3. Megan the Stallion becomes Pagan. Becomes Pagan the Stallion. Extra, extra. Megan the Stallion pegs some guy named Stallion. She's pegging a stallion. He's Italian. An, an Italian stallion as we speak. X3, X3. Women learn how to swim, witches or not, you decide. <laughs> extra, 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 extra. Do you see what I did there? Whoa, you got a real spring in your step. Are you a musician or a dancer? No, I'm poor and I'm an orphan. Me too. Hey, why don't we just make Think. about it? Talk. Make about it. Make the best out of it. Talk about it. My Think. pants are up to my knees, and the breeze is 
cold to me. And I'm standing in my own feces. A little higher. You. Feeling my way around the town. Wondering how I'll eat tonight. It's me, my friends, the hungry newsy little kids. We're really hungry. We stabbed the man and we took his pocket chain to eat some oatmeal. Turn of the century, New York City. It's totally legal to throw your chamber pot on me. I went blind, dying of consumption, diphtheria, and I shit my pants and puke every night. That's showbiz, baby. Showbiz, baby. I'm 12 years old and I'm dying of syphilis and lung cancer because I smoked since Christmas. Smoking cigarettes and drinking booze. I'm seven and a half and gonna kill myself. Drinking the booze and selling the news. That's we got papers to sell. We do. We got <laughs> papers <laughs> to sell. I think I'm having a heart attack. You're 12 years old. Of course you are. Grandpa, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let me. Are you all positioned for the live stream here? Absolutely, boy. Okay, this I'm, thing's going to slap. And uh, just don't get too distracted by your comments. Just bring your guests in and uh, let's get started here. Huh? Okay? Just. <laughs> Good job, Grandpa. Hold on. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you know what that music means. It just hits different. It just hits different, don't it? All right. Welcome back to the stream. This is, of course, Sunny Sands Retirement Homes. Number one Twitch stream. My name is Rough Randy, but y'all can just call me Randy. Oh, yeah. Uh, some of y'all bitches out there are suffering from main character syndrome and shit in the uh, comment section here. A couple of y'all said, hey, Boomer, uh, this shit don't slap. Uh, you're simping. We ain't vibing to this. And I said, yeah, shit, bet. I'm going to make this an even better fucking stream. And I'm going to bring all my friends here from Sunny Sands. What do you think about that? Grandpa, just uh, the, the swearing. Huh? The swearing. It's all right. As long as I don't say blowjobs in uh, uh, racial terms is what I thought it said in the, the ter terms of contract. That's right. Just your guest of, is waiting. It's the terms of, uh, the terms of, uh, the service terms, right? Correct. All right, first I want to bring in my down bitch. I've known her since day one here at, uh, what is it, Sunny Sands Retirement Home. Her name is Gr Gertrude Van Norman. Oh, oh what up, my, my fam? It's me, Gertrude, up in here. I just, uh, you know, I came up here with this straight drip. I'm wearing the white shoulders. No, no you cap. You smell that? No cap, Gertrude. That drip is fucking hit in. I don't show up here basic. You know, you know. We gonna fin up, Shit. finna glow up in here. You Shit. want me to give a little tutorial to your listeners? Yeah, shit is snatched. Go ahead, give that tutorial, bitch. Slay, queen. First thing you wanna do, unless you catch, wanna catch these hands, you better step back. Oh. You better step back. Step one. Step two, what's step get your two? curlers in. Huh? Get, get your curlers in. Get your what? 
your curlers. Get your curlers in. And once they, once those are all in, it's going to take them out. It's just going to hit different. Oh, it's going to hit different. Say less, queen. Say less. You want to be a bougie bitch or you want to be a basic bitch? I want to be a bougie bitch. Well, if you uh, want to be a bougie bitch and you don't want to be cringe, what you're going to do is get your velour tracksuit yeah. matching. We be vibing. with the sl- the slippers. We be vibing with that. That sounds that's fun. monogram slippers. That slaps Gertrude. Well, f- next, uh, I got a very special guest. He is the life of the party. Every single time we bring out the the uh, 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 what's it called the frozen uh, uh, the Margaret uh, the f- Margaret uh, Margarita machine. Whenever we we have the dancing on Sundays and we bring out that margarita machine, he's everybody's favorite. His name is Bert Frashanti. Bert, get your ass in here. Ooh, ooh, what up, fam? I'm a fan of the blood clot gang. I'm going to get canceled today because I'm so right to bet. But, 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 Yeah, I, I, I'm bringing big time CEO vibes to this gang, finna. Uh, eat a Hershey kiss because I'm a new hip cat on the street with my bee's knees. Oh, shit. You big mad, though, because Gertrude got on here first today, huh? Well, she's always trying to upstage me, and I was like, I don't want any of this soup because I'm hungry enough. And oh. I think my my flippers, I mean, my shoes, I mean, my keys will always prevail about how I'm the strongest of the squad. You know you simping for me. I ain't simping. I ain't simple. You call me simple because I had one stroke and it took me 10 years to get it back. Uh, Bert. Bert, that sounds big yikes. For a 75-year-old man, you should know better. You busting over here. You gotta catch each other. You're you're so good, Bert, and you you're so money. You don't even know it, man. Gertie got that gas. She's so strong with her gas. Oh, and it's finna fire up the the place with the house. You know what I mean? Huh? Where, where am I right now? You you you're still at the home with me and Gertrude. She's about to clap back that ass. Listen, son. I I don't I'm I missed your baseball game, but I'll be there next time. Huh? I think we should have a serious conversation here for a minute on how we tell when we're being cringe or chuggy or when we're bussing or when we're having a stroke. Chuggy? What is it? Is it some kind of caramel? No, but is he having a is bird having a stroke? Dead ass bird's having a stroke. I'm not gonna have a second stroke until I'm ready. Uh, I'm finna call the ambulance or at least the nurse. I yep. am dead right now. Okay. Grandpa? I'm, I'm gonna Grandpa? nurse on them Hold titties. On. What? Sh- shut up! My, Grandpa. Ne- my nephew's talking to me. Grandpa, get, uh, I think this would be a good time for a commercial for a uh, how not to be uh, have like a cringy stroke. So c- can we just jump into a live commercial here? Huh? Your, your friends can read. Okay, pick it up. Your here we grandson's go. so extra. He's mad extra. I never understood that shit. He's always got that gas on deck too. He knows how to roll a blunt for his grandpa. No Army cap. Is- I ain't gonna leave you guys ghosted by dying. All right, it's all good. You the goat. You the goat. Hey, Ger- Gertie, you got a thick, fat ass. <laughs> I, I'm going to slap it. Hey. No cap. Hey. I ain't capping. I'm slapping. Hey. I said slap. That hits different. You know. Am I having a stroke right now? You guys are talking all Jim Jam on me. Okay, Boomer. He knows that's my shorty, and he's coming in here saying all that shit to Gertrude. He's I, I tra- talking about getting canceled, but I think he's going to get canceled by God, if you know what I mean. Hey, it's all, Gucci. I you, got it. You're all salty because I ratioed you last week on TikTok because you got a stupid opinion about what a lady wants in a man. TikToks? I love them. Do you have these orange colored ones? That's my nephew's favorite He's color. He's dead ass Grand- having a stroke right now. Call uh, the Grandpa, nurse. Are you, are you ready for your commercial? He yeah, sounds, cringy strokes. Here he we sounds go. mad sus. Sorry. Here we go. Grandpa, ready? And huh? pick it up. No, v- damn vi- it. That's the- vibe check, son. Ah, my bad. Okay. Your, uh, vibe check. You're being mad sus your damn self. Are you you talking to your grandpa like that? 
Okay, commercial. Here we go. I'm about to eat. It's real mid. This soundtrack. Pick it son. up. Go ahead. We need to do a read. Oh, you, this one, the the paper here. Yeah, go ahead. At Shunny Shan's retirement home, you'll find a home that you can make what you want. Dave, you'll, you'll generous. Be able to find my keys though. Shut your goddamn mouth, Bert. Are you hear me reading the? Are you think I, I brought you on here to talk over me? I don't. I don't know where. My keys are. It, it, it take the L and go to the nurse's office. It's a Pontiac. Bert, you're about to catch hands. All right, sorry. Finish your commercial thing. You're everybody's fucking most in shape granddaddy out here, but you still got to remember this shit's got to, we got to market it to the kids, so we got to, we got to talk like that, but it, the, the Shady Acres people are paying for it. I got to make a commercial. You understand? I got the Riz. You do have mad ribs. Uh, if I may help you with your advertisement here. Go for it. Here at Sunshine Acres, you're gonna finna glow up. It's sending me straight to the grave, dead ass. You wanna look extra. You wanna be the CEO of your own life. You wanna be bussin'. Well, come to the least chuggy place. In Florida State, sunshine, sands. Gertie, can you do it again without the sunglasses on, please? And the the, the hat, too. We can barely see you on the stream. Wait, that's Grandpa. That's we're going back. This is my drip. Here at Sunshine Acres. That commercial's over. Wait, but I was going to spill tea for the kids. Bert, I'm trying to be an affiliate on this goddamn thing. This is, the it's not, not easy to, to, to do the, they, s- the steam, the, st- st- the Twitch stream. I spilled the tea, it's so hot. They call me one shot Gertrude for a reason. I took that take in one shot, no problem. One shotty. Hit a Straight body. fire. Acting like Stan, though. It's real sus. Yeah. You're, uh, you're acting thirsty. Yeah, son, it got me, got me sprung up when she finessed me. Dead ass, don't test me. Ooh. Shorty extra, shorty extra, shorty extra. <laughs> shorty got my attention, the game. The game too hard to play. I gotta get off the thing, gotta get off the thing. Shorty too extra. Clap hands, clap hands. Catch hands, catch hands. So they two extra, so they two extra, so they two ex- <coughs> extra. Sweatpants, uncuffed, shirt, stuffed up, keys. Where are my keys? I can't find them. They jingled. And I ate my pills before lunch. And now I've got a hunch on the back side flip. Ah. Uh, I need a shorty who voted Republican before the 80s, uh. voted Democrat after. I need a woman. I need a woman that's extra shorty. Shorty extra. Uh, 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 uh. That's I think cla- I got a hernia. Shorty extra. That's a classic stroke. I've seen it. In the bed last night, shorty. Shorty extra. I need a man that's famous. Maybe musician or actor. So famous. I split my anus. Something fancy, no Viagra. Yeah. That's S- perfect. Uh, sunny sides, fam. That's fact. Sunny side up. Sunny side up, fam. Feeling real that's small. Facts. That's facts. Small like a little that's missile fact. fur missile. Oh, that's f- <coughs> That's facts. It's That's hot. Fact. Now I'm cold. That's fact. I can't regulate That's my fact. body temperature. That's fact. Because I have thin fact. skin. My That's fat fact. doesn't keep the That's war fact. thin. Hit different, hit different. Hit different, hit different. Hit different, hit different. different. That's I can't relate to a younger generation. That's That's sending That's me, sending me. That's sending That's me, sending me. What are we doing Straight here? Straight to the grave. I don't know what we're doing here. Addy. Huh?
Instant Microwave Buzz is a weekly improvised sketch comedy podcast recorded live at the Fuzzbox Studios in Lahaina, Hawaii, on the beautiful island of Maui. To learn more about the Fuzzbox Studios and their mission to encourage, inspire, and empower individuals in developing their creative visions and by providing an environment to cultivate their skills and talents, check us out at fuzzboxproductions.com. Check out our website for instantmicrowavefuzz.buzzsprout.com. You can find us on Patreon, YouTube, and Instagram under Instant Microwave Fuzz. And you can find us on all the podcast platforms. Support the show on Patreon at Instant Microwave Fuzz. And big thanks to our patrons, Will, Alan, Paul, and Laura. Thanks to all of you. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.